Hey everybody, Radical Reggie here, and uh, as you seen by the thumbnail, I got a cool item recently, and that is the NES Classic System. Now, uh, now I gotta tell you guys, I wasn't on the hype train for this system. I was like more like meh, whatever. But more, more as I looked at it, I thought it was a cool item, and uh, 60 bucks, you know, it wasn't a bad deal at all. It's just that, uh, as you know, the system was highly sought after by collectors and scalpers and people who just wanted the system in general. Um, and unfortunately, I mean, it, it sold out everywhere. You know, people were trying to charge like triple the amount of what it was going for, stuff like that. And a lot of people didn't really get to enjoy it for themselves, you know. Uh, I actually, uh, I, I kind of understand why Nintendo is not really producing them anymore. And it's in a way that with the Switch coming out, they're kind of competing with themselves, you know what I mean? So uh, they could sell virtual games on the Switch, which people are stupidly buying. Not saying you guys are stupid, but you know, it's just like, you know, like, uh, $14 for this game or whatever, or 10 bucks for this, you know, and when the, you get like 30 of those, some of those games on here, you know, for 60 bucks. So uh, pretty insane. But anyways, um, I got this because of one of my friends, uh, he works at a, at a store and uh, they got him in and he bought two of them, uh, one for himself and one for his, uh, his, his cousin. And uh, his cousin ended up getting a Raspberry Pi he said, oh, I don't need that, that system. I'm good to go. So uh, my buddy knew I wanted it. So we uh, he offered it to me. And uh, instead of cash, we did a trade for it. He's a big, high DS collector. And uh, I had some DS games that he wanted. Uh, as you guys know, I recently got that game, Windy X Wingdom, which is a, a game that was unknown by a lot of people. As soon as I announced that game, it went up in price. Like, it sold out. But luckily, me being smart, uh, I bought myself... And some and a bunch of copies for my friends to have, so I knew they would want it too, so they would have it. I ended up trading my buddy for that game too, with a bunch of other DS games, and I got the NES Classic. So, uh, what I'm gonna do with the system, I'm going to mod it, of uh, course, and put the games I want on here. You know what I mean? Some games will stay on here, but I need the system just to be the games that I love. I don't want to have every game on here because then it's like, oh, I could do that with anything. You know what I mean? I want this to have every game that I want on here that I love from back in the day for the NES system that I can remember right now. So uh, I got some great ideas for this. I'm, I'm, I hear it's really easy to mod. I'm going to look at Sean's uh, video, RGT. Uh, check you out, man, because I know you did a, a, a guide to modding this. And uh, yeah, man, just uh, I'm just really pumped for this thing, you know. I uh, haven't even opened it yet, you know. I uh, haven't even held it up that much, honestly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But uh, I'm pretty pumped up. So what I'm gonna do the rest of this video, uh, cause I haven't even seen this thing open. I'm gonna open it up and show you guys as I open it up. I'll get the camera at a good angle and we'll just go through it together. So uh, yeah, let's check right, it out. All right, let's get started. <laughs> See what's in this sucker. Pretty pumped up. I'm pretty pumped up to the freaking mod it. <laughs> but I was never really a big Nintendo guy back in the day, so. Well, I, I did. I did like the system, though. Don't get me wrong, and I enjoyed it. But I never really was like crazy about it. I didn't get really crazy about video games until I freaking saw the Super Nintendo, and then even crazier when the PlayStation came out. Oh wow! This looks like the thing that came with the original Nintendo back in the day. It's like a poster or something. Cool. Okay. I think I remember that when I was a kid. I'll open that up later. And of course, we got the system here. Huh, pretty small and light, nice. Okay, I like that. Let's see what else we got here. Ah, controller. Definitely need that, you know. You guys already know what it looks like. <laughs> and uh, power plug. We got some more goodies in here. Ah, I hate these complicated boxes, or I guess it's just me. <laughs> HDMI cord. And the power cord, so it goes with the rest of the plug. So uh, that's the system right there. Uh, looks cool to me. Yeah, let's get back. Well, there you have it, the NES Classic unboxing. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen these videos all over the place, so I don't even know why I actually did one. But uh, I just wanted to add some more beef to the video, so it's all good. But here's the here's the system itself, so you can see how cool that is, you know, and uh, power button. It really feels nostalgic. This. No, that doesn't even open. Oh! That's cool. Uh, everything's already installed on here anyway. 
uh, got your controller here, which I saw these selling on Amazon uh, for like 27 bucks. Now people are charging 50 for them, so forget that, you know, it shouldn't even be that much. But uh, yeah, it's a cool little system. I think the light turns on, I don't have it plugged in right now, but like I said, you guys have seen these videos all over the place. So anyways, later on today, I'm gonna mod this sucker. Uh, I'll be watching Sean Long's video to learn how to do that because I know he did uh, like how to modify the system video so I'll be doing that probably later on today and just let me know if you guys if you guys have any uh, uh, questions about the system or anything like or anything you give any tips you give me about the system you know I, I don't know just conversation in general uh, anyways guys I gotta head to the library and I will see you later <laughs>